Hey, it's a great day at Mills Motors, 240 Bond Street, East in Oshawa. This is the 2018 GMC Terrain SLE all-wheel drive in the red quartz tint coat. 2-liter engine, 9-speed automatic transmission. Let's take a look around this all-wheel drive terrain, see what's included, where everything's located. We're going to start over here on the driver's side. you got the power driver adjustable seat with lumbar supports. A nice leather wrapped steering wheel, headlights and turn signals, cruise control on the left and you're also going to find some toggles back there to save and scroll through some favorite radio stations. The right hand side has your hands free calling and voice command, driver information center menu and toggles back here for a volume control. Intermittent wipers including rear wipers located on the right hand side. And with that driver information center, you can scroll through and see all the info you need to know about your terrain right there at your fingertips. And that's going to take us to the IntelliLink system, which is full color touch, AM, FM, Sirius XM, satellite radio, time and temperature display. You've got onboard navigation to take you where you need to go. Different user profile. So if you're an Apple CarPlay person and someone else who drives the vehicle, maybe they're an Android Auto, hey, no problem at all. You create your own profiles, you sign in, all your uh, presets, all your favorites, all ready to go. And Apple CarPlay and Android Auto do have their own separate icons now. Right there with the phone icon, you can pair your devices, use it for calling and stored media. Back to the home page now. And throw this in reverse, and you get a look at that full color rear backup camera with trajectory. Precision shifter located below, you've got the push and pull tabs. A little bit different from what you might be used to. Dual zone climate control for heating and air conditioning. And yes, it's automatic temperature control. Got your AC button, fan speed operator, front and rear defrosters, hazards right there. And below a place to uh, plug your devices in. You've got USB, auxiliary, and 12 volt. And you also have that SD card slot there, which is for the navigation screen. Side-by-side -side cup holders, got the key fob resting here. As you can see, you've also got the remote start. Drive select, heated seats, both driver and passenger side, hill descent control, and the armrest will pop up. And on the inside, you've got a removable storage tray, storage below, and two more USB ports. All cloth upholstery continuing, and above, that massive panoramic sunroof slide and tilt functions the controls for that within arm's reach of the driver here very smooth and you also have the power sunshade located right next to it and you'll see that sunshade going back into position massive panoramic sunroof as well. It goes all the way to the back of that second row. LED lighting above. Sunglass storage. And you do have a push start ignition so to turn off the engine I've got my foot on the brake and press this button here. Engine disengages and you get that rear seat reminder. Got the 18 inch aluminum wheels there with the wheel locks installed. Michelin all season tires. We're going to check out the rear profile. Before I do that, I want to show you, you get the uh, SLE badging right here. And those roof racks above gives you an aerial view of that uh, panoramic sunroof as well. So here's the rear profile. You've got the all-wheel drive badging and the dual exhaust. Hatch opens up nice and wide. And there's a look at the storage space available to you there. Of course, you do have the 60-40 split there in the rear, so you can fold those seats down and put something larger in the back. And to fold them down from here, you can actually grab a hold of these pull tabs, and they collapse nice and flat, just like so. Removable cargo cover, you can pop that out of either side. And if you want to use that cargo cover, you can pull it in, just let it rest in the tracks, just like so. And it's going to keep prying eyes away from what you have here in the back of your vehicle. But you do still have the very nice, deep, tinted solar ray glass. Uh, tie downs on both sides. 
12 volt power on the right storage space below and we'll close that hatch and as mentioned that deep tinted glass pretty difficult to see what you've got inside there anyway even without that cargo cover in use you can lock and unlock with just a press of button there with the uh, smart key access system as long as you've got that key fob within a few feet of the vehicle and to fold the seats down here from the rear just grab a hold let them fall down and then look at all that storage space there all right so put them back in position again just one hand the other's on the camera very easily done you got the fold down armrest with cup holders here in the middle and you also have rear venting two usb ports and three prong power below so plenty of opportunities for your passengers to plug in and the led lighting located above and this all-wheel drive train also with the safety and connectivity of onstar and its own 4g lte wireless hotspot if you want to give this one a test drive, come on down to Mills Motors at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa, where we always do whatever it takes.